All right, here we go. All right, in the booth here. Let me get. Uh, hold on here. Let's add. Uh, in the booth here, we uh, have the famous doorknob. Of course, child sensation. Yes. In the flesh. Who is uh, actually one of our? Oh, I gotta turn off the sound. Sorry. Uh, our music. All right, now you can hear us. Yeah. 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 All right. Okay. Sorry about that. All right. So in the booth here, we've got doorknob. And uh, he is one of our star players of course. in the league. Actually, just won. Shimada yes, just won our game. He did. And we are getting into this first match here. We have Talon versus Blackwatch. On the side of Talon, you, a couple star players to look out for. You got Sage, obviously, on that Doomfist. He does like to do off-meta picks during these regular seasons. We have Sipiter on the Mercy. Oh, lands a nice hook. Mr. Pick picks with the initial pick onto Sage. Going to be really, really great. Now, see, here's the thing with Sage. He plays a little too aggressive, and so sometimes he gets punished just a little too much. So you got to look out for him. But you also, you know, he's a good player. Bigs on Arissa here. Randy on his typical McCree. Takes out Shock and Awe. Bigs with the pick onto Yerbal. Lands a hook. Mr. Pick Picks. Nice pick onto Sunny Bunny. So it looks like Talon is getting a little pushback here. What they need to do is they need to group up, solidify, and then they need to call out their dive targets. What Sage is doing is he's going in alone. He has no support, and that's why he's dying. You know, he's going to get hooked. They have the full counter for Doomfist right now, okay? Orisa can fortify, Zen can just discord him, and Tracer can just one-clip him. There's really no way that he should be playing Doomfist, but he's doing it anyway. Mr. Pickwick's going to miss the hook. Sure. Sunny Bunny pushes in with Sage, but looks like she's going to get pushed off a little there. And Sunny Bunny was one oh, of our... Uh, Sinful is going to get the pick onto Mengi, or Blondie, I should say, and Yurtable. Finally, Talon's going to be cleaning up those kills, landing on Randy, Trinehart, and Sinful. Rez is going to go off onto Mengi. And Sunny Bunny's going to pick up the kill onto Nairog. Poor Mr. Pick Picks, all alone, and he's going to get picked off. All alone and picked off, hence the and, name. Indeed. Pick so, is more Mr. Pick gets picked. <laughs> so I was going to chime in there. Sunny Bunny was one of our hero highlights of last week. Really? Also one of our tanks, yes. I believe the, oh, oh, Sage with a nice double there, well-timed due to getting both the Bongo and Biggs. Randy Veller killing the McCree, as, or killing the Pharah, I'm sorry, killing the Pharah as always, and Sage picking up the kill on to try and hurt. Sage is one health, it looks like, if you can look, take a look at that health. Oh, and he's dead. And he's dead. <laughs> I'd say, oh, oh, oh. huge three-man bomb on Randy, Nairog, and try and hurt. Well placed bomb while they are still down, and so they weren't exactly able to react to that. They did not have any no. tools, so they're so completely confused. open to it. Yeah, that was a little, that was weird that it happened, but it did, so. Alright, let's go take a look at Sage, our main guy up here. Sage playing a little funky strat there, yeah. standing on top. The thing with Doomfist is you need to play carefully as a secondary Doomfist main, I do know this, but oh! Gonna get pushed onto, obviously gonna boop him off. Sage is playing super safe right here. Gonna say, hey friends, need some help up here, take care of this Winston for me. Let's take a look at our Farah, our Shock and Awe. Oh, Shock and Awe gonna miss that initial shot. Lands oh. it onto Sinful. Sinful still on the back. This is the initial one. Base getting a little too close for comfort, so he's gonna jump out. Sage getting the headshot onto Nyrog. Mercy down, that's a huge pick. Sunny Bunny getting the pick onto Randy Veller. That's a second. Looks like it's up for Talon right now. They could pick this up and they could keep pushing the cart. Shock and Awe getting very, very low there. Gonna have to play it safe. But immediately getting Blondie, or Sinful, I should say, rather. Looks like there is a mercy to mercy pick here. Sage getting the pick onto Trinehart. He's chasing down a lot of these tanks here because he needs to place pressure. Randy again kills Shock and Awe. Shock and Awe is just getting oh. absolutely destroyed by Randy. Sipiter rezzing Shock and Awe as Mercy's doo doo. Shock and Awe killing Randy Geller. There you go, Randy. That's it. No more killing me. Sinful landing the helix onto Shock and Awe. A little bit of revenge killing going back and forth here. Sage picks up Nyrog. They could take this very easily due to the fact that there is only Winston and Hog on point. Mr. Pickpicks picks up Mercy. That's also a huge pick. But Mengi is going to kill Mr. Pickpicks, and Monkey is soon to follow. Yep. Monkey is soon to follow as Trinehart, Biggs, and Sinful all fall down. A little bit of a wasted ult there by uh, Sunny Bunny, but it does not matter as they have already taken the point. Randy. With his last dying breath, just tries to save the point, but it, there's no cigar there, so. Talon, gonna keep pushing. Talon's doing a pretty good job. But I would say it's the rest of the team staying alive. 
Indeed, the big thing with these teams that I see a lot is it's very important to A, communicate, and oh, Sage, very, very out of position there as Doomfist. You need to play carefully. You have 200 health and you're not a tank. You need to forget that. Doomfist extended hitbox makes him a very, very prime target for hooking, killing, and overall uh, killing, picking off. Very vulnerable. Nairog rezzing Sinful, and Sipiter doing the same to Mengi. Yodable getting in the face of that Orisa. He's gonna run back because he needs to help his team. And Blackwatch is just gonna do a little cleanup here. Mengi's gonna get the pick on to try to hunt. This could be salvageable, but no cigar as everybody is falling left and right. Sipiter gonna go down, and Yodable soon to follow. Now, as I was saying, it's very important in these matches to be A, vocal about what you're trying to pick off, and B, you have to know uh, when to back out and when to push forward. There's a lot of confusion in these flashes, especially when you're on stream, where you want to make those flashy plays and it's just not going to happen. So when you land that meteor strike, you might miss it, you know? you got to play carefully, you got to play with your team. That's how you win these. Just as I say that, Sage is going to land the meteor strike onto Ooh. Sinful. Huge pick. That's 6-5 to five now. Uh, gonna get that barrage eaten up, gobble gobble, thank you. <laughs> Mr. Pickpick's tossing the bomb and gets one kill on a shotgun off. Randy Veller picking up two. Very, very nice on both sides by Pix and Randy. Pick up that final kill. Hey Sage, I'm Farah, you're Doomfist, you're dead. And back goes the payload. Indeed it does. As it rolls back to the <laughs> Oh, oh Sunny Butter with oh, his oh. infamous bombs. Gonna land the pick on the Nairog. That's nice. gonna be hurt. That is going to hurt. They have one mercy down. They're gonna push aggro here onto the point. Randy trying to salvage this by pushing into their back line. Will it succeed? Mengi gonna go down. Sunny Bunny soon to follow. Almost gets the D mech, but and his mech is so close to dying. Sunny gets D mech. Somebody here goes off from Yurtable. A little too late though, as most of the players on Talon are a little too low for comfort. I think his supercharger goes down on a side note. Yurtable getting a little low there. Blackwatch is doing a pretty good job of holding Blackwatch is here. spread out, and what they've done there is, even though they've gotten picked, they've spread out, and because of that spreading out, it's very hard for ults to be effective. When you're just getting one kill with an ult, it doesn't feel like it's as effective, even though it is. So, uh, when Blackwatch is, you know, spread out like this, obviously they can't do anything about it. When you have a Pharah in the back line and a Genji in the front line, there's not much you can do. Woo! Yurtable getting the finish off boop onto Bwandi. Or Sinful, Randy getting the kill on Mengi, and Shock getting the kill on Randy. Sipiter rezzing up Mengi, and I hope that Nairog might be rezzing Randy here. It looks like he's not going to go for it. Nope. Randy's coming through. Keeping pick picks up, though, and bigs. That's a hard job being a Mercy, that's for sure. Mm -hmm. Looks like they're playing a little too passive. Watch that high noon Mercy. She's going to hide just in time. Oh. Pops the Valk. Looks pretty even right here. I can't exactly tell what is going on, but Mengi is going to get a little bit low. He's got to play passive a little bit more. Sage. Get Randy, get Randy. Sage, low. Sinful's going to pick up Mengi. He was going a little too aggro on that. Sunny going to pop that bump. Oh, Randy. Two-man barrage. Absolutely huge. And Sage picks up the rest. Thank you very much. Mr. Pickpick's gonna stall a little hardcore here on that D.Va. Like I said, with that healing, he's gonna be able to sit on it for a while. Sinful picking up Sipiter. Could they salvage this? Ooh, Sage with the double headshot. Not with the deflect, though. Sunny lands the kill onto Sinful. Mengi lands a kill onto Biggs, and Sage's gonna pick up that mech off of Mr. Pickpick's. Sage killing Randy. Sage is just popping off before he gets absolutely executed by Mr. Pickpick's. And Talon cleaning up the board, but there's that classic last point stall that's going through here. Nope, Sinful not going to be able to get the pick. And Sipiter is going to res uh, Sage. So it's looking like a Talon 3-0 here. Sage picking up Biggs. Mengi picking up Nairog. Shock picking up Randy Mr. Pickpix. And that. finally Sage picking up Randy Veller. Thank you very much. I was playing Doomfist in the very first. Nice. But now I am playing McCree. Yes. And so that's... I will, Thank you much, sir. I will see you tomorrow. Thanks. Infinity War. <laughs> Good luck. Mm -hmm. All right. Now, I want to put up a little side chatter because I didn't get much to say last time. Yeah. Here's players to look out for on these teams. You have Sipiter and you have Sage, right? Now, Sage, he plays a lot of off-meta heroes, but he's very, very good at them. So what he does is he gets in that back line. Nobody's paying attention to him because they don't perceive him as a threat, and he just absolutely destroys. Focus his targets. Now, on this McCree... At the end there, he was landing headshot after headshot, and that's really important. 
So what they should have done... Oh, he's going to swap to Slowly just as I say that. Cast your curse. And he's going to swap right back to number three. <laughs> <laughs> he did. There he is. But Sipiter as well, keeping your team alive. Definitely in the uh, same retrospect as Nyrog, who does the same thing. But Sipiter is just, just like that. Right? Always getting off those reses. Now, Randy plays a lot of hit scan, and I think he's very good at dealing with uh, Ferris. It's, it's like his job, basically. As a hit scan main, he usually deals with Ferris. And so um, we saw, I think, Shakana go down a couple of times at Randy's hand because now he's going on that Widowmaker, as we see on attack. Oh, a little unorthodox, but I, I trust Randy. He's very well, good. Well, he's probably going to go, what do you think, he's going to go for a couple picks and then switch? I think he's going to go for that first initial shot because once you have a Widow pressuring you down, especially a Widow as good as Randy, mm -hmm. I think it's very, very, very hard to, you know, got to got to slow down and you got to back up when you're playing against a good Widow, and that's what they want. They want to push him off the gas station, which will give him the high ground advantage, or the advantage overall. Well, I want to see if... Um I feel like Shakano played a lot of tank the first half last week, so... He did, so it looks like it, it, he's actually swapping over from that role into um, DPS, and yeah. that's working out for him so yeah. far. But let's not count Blackwatch out at nope. all as we get nope. into this second round of Route 66. All right. And away we go. Big's going to be pressuring the high ground goes through the tunnel. Looking for that jump. Yeah, let's take a look at Biggs. Let's They're see. waiting a few seconds here, obviously, before they want to jump on that high ground. Randy going to put on some pressure so it gets them to back up a little. Biggs going to go in right on the supports. He gets flashed, which is a very, oh. very important from, important mechanic for McCree. Randy gets the pick onto Shockin' nice as work. I called. And Yurtable going to get the pick onto Mixer Pick Picks. Nyrod res Biggs, but he's going to keep on those supports. And because Sage is not there to flash him, he's going to have free reign over all those supports. And... Blackwatch just gonna clean up point A. It's gonna be theirs. Irritable Mengi going down immediately due to the absence of their teammates, and that's all she wrote. Now, it's important that I that I call this out because Biggs dived in there, he got flashed, and immediately he was done for, right? But the thing is, is because they were keeping so much pressure on them and because Randy got that opening pick. Once a lot of teams get first picks, they let their guard down. They're kind of like, okay, we got hey, the first, first pick, picked fight's over, right? You yeah. know, so they kind of let their guard down, and because of that, they dropped shields, they dropped, you know, they're protecting their supports, and of course, everybody used to fall. So, fall. would you say that's what attributed for Nyrog doing that, that I think rest? that, exactly, because right nobody's paying attention to him, so he just gets free reign over the place, and he owns it. Which is crazy, because it was at the top of the gas station. station. I mean, it was... Indeed, yeah. right on top of the gas station. Yeah. <laughs> What's interesting is you can actually use that payload as a little bit of leverage, but Mercy's res has actually a pretty close range. Oh! Gets the D-suit on to Bunny. He better start running. Biggs is going yeah, right on him. Gets there. flashed Biggs immediately. Going ham. Pops. He's going ham. Picks up one. Picks up two. Sinful going to pick up three. What? Biggs going to pick up four. Sinful going to pick up five. Oh my god, it's that a slaughter. A That's going to be a team kill from the part of Randy, oh. Biggs, and Sinful. Amazing work. Nice. That's a full team contribution there. Indeed. And they got four minutes on the clock. Looks like they might be able to hit this checkpoint. Ah, uh, not so fast, Random. They're coming right back in. They're a little angry that they got swiped there. Sage's going to have the high noon, and Shock going to come in with the barrage. Irritable almost has his trans. Going to push with the trans, I assume. Sage almost maybe, gets picked maybe. off. Pops the bomb to zone them out. Sunny Bunny neck very low. Pops the bomb. Infamous bomb. Can we get it? Bomb drop. Oh, Sage going to pick up one. Randy going to do the same to Sunny Bunny out of mech. Randy going to pick up two onto Sipiter. Mr. Pickpick is going to pick up the third onto Yurinville. Big is going to pick up the fourth onto Mengi. And Shakana, the only one left, getting taken down with a nasty headshot by Randy Valor. Sage clinging on to life as he tries to contest this point just like Randy did before, but he gets picked up by Mr. Pickpick. And that is second point. Wow. Blackwatch is... They are not. Ha they were not happy with getting rolled there, I must say. No. This is definitely some vengeance, but I spoke too soon. Mengi going to pick up Randy. Shouldn't have played that aggro, and so they were definitely in his face. Odd, unorthodox way to play here, I think. They're trying to zone them out. Well, once where's gotten the that. Zen? I thought they were going to pull a Transcendence here, but They not yet. are, but it looks like Yurtable's holding onto it. He needs it for those important picks, and I think he's going to yeah. push it probably sometime around here if they want to retake this point. Gonna get the D-suit on to pick picks. This is the pristine time. Shakanov with a 2K. Randy Valor picking up, but it doesn't matter because their team is already staggered enough. Mengi picking up Mr. Pick Picks, and that is it. Biggs right back to spawn. Wow. Randy getting a little bit staggered there. Not too bad. Close spawns. 
everything is all good. Blackwatch has 4 minutes 15 seconds on the clock against Talon, so they have a very, very well chance of still taking this point back easily. Irritable still holding that res though, so they gotta look out for that. Simple can't just be liberal with these blades. He's gotta bait it out. Pushing the trans, he might push this trans out. Oh, he picks the Zen before he can top the trans. Oh, it's terrible. Oh, Big's going hams again. Big is going ham. He's trying to grab that Mercy. Mercy, come here. Oh, oh. but Sipiter playing that classic. And this is what, this really, that, that is a fine example of what makes Sipiter a great Mercy, okay? And I really don't think she gets credit for this. She is so slippery. I'm serious. As, as the slender, uh, the s Swedish woman cannot be touched by the, the, the monkey, really. <laughs> it, it, it's, it's amazing. She hops back and forth, back She's and forth, back and forth, that. back and yeah. forth, and she just doesn't die. Everybody's getting a little low here. Maggie getting, oh, oh Randy oh, with the Randy. headshot just as I spoke too soon on Randy. the here. Randy I, picking up jinx. two it's onto Maggie. Biggs, oh, oh. shocking on the back. It gets one, but will it be enough? No, Big is going to get the pick on the Sunny Bunny, and that is oh. all she wrote for the Talon team. They're pushing hard here. Got They're going to be able to have block. some distance on this cart. Can anybody contest it? Looks like we have Sunny Bunny coming in. Sunny Bunny gets desuited almost immediately due to the... Is Big's going to go hands again? Oh, Sunny Bunny going to go down, and Mengi soon to follow, as well as our lovely friend Sage and Shakana dead last. Got a trans stalling this out, but it's not enough. He's going to fall immediately after. And that. Oh, Mercy going to try and go for the res. Oh, nope. the stall game. The stall game. Here we go, boys. Yep. Diva comes in. Winston comes in. Can we get a nice ult here? It does pick up zero people. Oh, Biggs is back. He's ulting just to keep these people off his point. Looks like Sage already got the pick with the Doomfist onto Sinful. They got to look out for him. Like I said, that Doomfist one-hit kill is nothing to laugh about. And it looks like they've stabilized on this point. Amazing play. Really, amazing play from Talon. As far as stalling goes and as far as picks go, amazing. I can't believe that stall worked. Indeed. Blackwatch with I, two yeah. minutes on the clock. They got bomb. They got red. Or they... Uh, she is Swiss. You are correct. Uh, <laughs> they are very close to each other, and I apologize. Uh, we have Nairog with the Valkyrie. We have Trinehart with the uh, Trans. And we have Mr. Pickpix with the Self-Destruct. Ooh, we do have a Valkyrie. Sipiter with the Infinite Valkyrie. Oh, Sage goes in a little too deep. Are they going to pick it off? Ah, uh, little got a little lost there. Let's see if this Valkyrie Oh, that's two up. all the way. Sage getting picked and Shakana getting picked. Sipiter looking for the rest. She can't find it. Mr. Pickpix oh, no, no. picks off Mengi. Trinehart picks off Yurtable. She's watching all of her friends die. Oh, but she swoops in. Doesn't God. get headshot by Randy. Very close, though. Like I said, oh, I spoke too soon. No. Randy takes her head off and Biggs picking up Sunny Bunny. Tries to go for the Meteor Strike. Nicely timed. Trans on the side of Trinehart. Very nicely timed. Tries to bait out us. Uh, ah, but it's not working on the Dragon Bladed Genji. Look at this stall. Amazing. Oh, Sipiter hopping on point. And she gets picked oh. off. And that is... As D.Va falls out of mech, that's going to be three, two, one. Almost there. Oh and that God. is it. In just under Black two watch. minutes on the clock. One minute and 58 seconds. Amazing time there. Great work on the side of Blackwatch. That was actually a 3K on the side of Trinehard at the end there. Wow. Nobody saw it, but it was it was at the end. All right, so we only got a 58-second difference there. So that was some pretty it was, good stalling that, that was, I think, on the side. See, like I said, Sage, he was on that McCree, and he, you know, it, it kind of process. It take it takes some process. And at the end of every game, you have what's called a stall comp, right? Mm -hmm. So you know you've lost the point, and so in order to salvage the point, you have to go to teams or players that can constantly stay on the point and keep rotating outwards and outwards. And eventually, because of obviously six people being on the point at once or one person going off, somebody's going to get a pick. Yeah. And eventually that, that door is going to be open. Happens on these last points, and it happens on the last point of 2CP a lot, specifically Temple of Anubis. And that is what allows that team to come back. You notice Sage hopped on the Doomfist. Yep. And because people, like I said, get overconfident once they've gotten that first pick or they've gotten to the last part of the map, they say, GG, guys, and they let their guard down, and Sinful just got, boom, completely yeah. smacked in the wall by the Doomfist. Oh, looks like they're running a Bastion here. I would know. Bastion on Route 66. It's a powerful comp. And it looks like they are not well equipped to deal with it. We have a Winston against the Bastion. This is this going to is, be great. Uh, oh, we have actually Diva oh, and Winston. Oh, oh, oh. They know Sage almost up, goes down. Up. Randy barely misses that headshot. So, going to be close here. 
Sage can't quite hop on that cart. There we go. There all we right, go. sets all up the right, cart. All right. And we are a rolling, ladies and gentlemen. Protect the president. <laughs> Protect like the president yeah. calm. That is indeed it. Simple trying to get some high ground so he can get above the shield, but because of the shape of Rissa Shield, he's not going to get any of it. Yeah. Oh, no, oh, uh -oh. Oh, right oh there. no, there's three. Oh, oh. Terrence coming in the back line and trying to push Sage off. He is not backing down. That robot is not backing down. He is just shooting and shooting. And because of that, Randy is going to be able to get Shock. Sinful is going to be able to get Sage and Sipiter. Trying to, rant, uh, trying to res Sage, but actually picks up Shock. Picks up Shock and off. Sunny D-Max and Mr. Pickpix. Mengi D-Max and Mr. Biggs. Oh, they're coming back, actually. Uh, Randy, you got to get out of there. Randy drops onto the bottom. He's going to get hooked. Oh, so close. Uh. It's very close. Like I said, once that Bastion's set up, ladies and gentlemen, it is it is a very, very violent way to try and get past a Bastion, especially when you're poorly equipped with tanks like just Winston. As we're approaching this last first point. Oh, in comes Biggs. Riptire is going to come off from Sinful. It gets immediately taken out by Sage. Amazing aim. Randy picks up Sage. Randy's still on that high ground. Nobody's diving him. So Nyrog is going to pick up Biggs. Sipiter is going to pick up Sage. And Shock and Sunny going to get double kill with the mech included. Sunny with a triple. Oh, with a mech landing onto oh, Mr. Pickpix. Oh, oh, oh. Mr. Pickpix crying out in pain as he is smushed <laughs> by the mech. Oh, what? Oh, oh the humanity, I, Retinum. Oh, oh, the humanity. <laughs> Sonny has no mercy on these guys, I must say. The infamous Sonny Oh, my Sunny God. Bob. Sonny kills Randy. Oh, oh my, my God. God. It's brutal. <laughs> that is awesome. And well, as the as the as effort. the as the highway goes quiet, we have Sage looking with his damage boost to Winston quietly. Oh, oh spot sinful. He knows they're he knows they're up there. Sunny, no, you can't go in there against five people. Sunny's gonna get burnt, burnt, get burnt, back, and Sunny, she's not back. able to get escape. Gets no. the D-Mech. Now because of that, Sunny, oh without the diva. And Sage goes down. Nice play by Sinful there with the nice mine. Play. Biggs picking up Sipiter. They're pushing him off this point. Ready? They don't if they don't keep on this point, it's game over. Sunny's the only one on point. They're getting a little bit off this point. Oh, and that's looking like it's going to be it from the side of Talon. Again, fantastic plays by Sunny Bunny. Amazing Very bombs. Well and, oh, the crush onto Mr. Big Fix. Poor. God. Yes, it is doorway on here, Joseph the Toon. Gosh. Yeah, those diva bombs, you talk about consistency. Oh, God. Bam. You know, Sunny is a very consistent player. Mm -hmm. what, what rank is she? That's a good question. I should have that all uh, all on tap here, but we'll have now, to Now, you see, this is what I love. I'll tell you this. I'll, I'll, this is what I love about the main seasons. Now, you, mm -hmm. you, won't, you don't spot me at Winter Freeze Up and Summer Meltdown, and that's totally not because nobody wants me on their team, okay? <laughs> it's because, it's because, and I, I love these events for this. You get these even teams, right? And you have these powerful players like Randy, and you have Sage, right? Uh -huh. Now, they are powerful players, and it also gives players like Sunny who might be lower ranked than those players. And on the ladder, you know, on the solo queue ladder, we all have experienced it, okay? Nobody wants to work together, right? Everybody's been there. But yeah, we've all been there. Now that we're in this team environment, you can really see those lower ranked players shine against these higher ranked players, and you see kind of the true Overwatch mentality, which is teamwork over solo work, and that is why I love this game so Always. much. And I'll tell the story over and over again of the first season. We had a player who outranked everyone tremendously, oh. like just off the charts but their team didn't win at all. Now, you see, Game a set. great example, last season, I can witness this, Cam York, a great D.Va player, absolutely got pocketed by Sipiter and Loth, two support mains, and nobody perceived him as a threat, and so he killed everyone, everyone. I, 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 I witnessed it firsthand. He was emoting, okay? He would not die. <laughs> well, let's get back to the real game. Oh, right, Randy, Randy almost picks up Yurtable. Gotta play it safe there. Oh, oh, he's, oh lurking, he's lurking, he's lurking, he's lurking. With that damage boost on him, he's, he's a little it. He's scary, he's scary. He's get down! Right behind Oh, the Yurtable, you gotta run! Oh, this is painful. Randy is just making it rain on these guys. Yurtable's very low. Randy got the sight onto him. Misses the first initial rocket, so he's gonna back up. Yep. They're at a severe disadvantage. Talon is because of this doom fist against the Pharah. They can't do much. Biggs is gonna pick up Yurtable. That's the first pick of the game. Biggs gonna oh. pick up the mech as well. Biggs getting a double kill right there. Sage picking up the mech, likewise oh, picking Farrah a mech. Picked, Biggs is popping off here. He gets shocking off. Sage picking up Trinehart. Randy picking up Sipiter. Support for a support. We got a trade here. Randy picking up Mengi. And Doomfist not oh, going to no. get anything right, with that meteor right, strike. He's very low. Can he get a pick before he dies? No. Oh, God. He cannot. He's getting his health chopped in half. 
Sage is stalling out this point by himself, but it's not going to last very long, Mr. Doomfist. Winston going to dive the D.Va, get the immediate D-Mech onto Sunny Bunny, our star player. Oh, Biggs picking up Sunny Bunny as revenge for that earlier a call mech kill. Landing right on the Mengi, smacks him. Boom. Get out of here, Mengi. Not in my house. There's only one monkey out there. Mm, yep. And it ain't Mengi, that's for sure. Mm -mm. The monkey is not Mengi. Well, Mengi's got it all coming up. And Actually, she does. They all do. We oh, do, yeah. yeah. All right, let's see. You know Mengi's out to prove the stronger monkey. Mengi is the monkey, yes. Yes. The stronger oh, monkey. Oh, the Dragon Blade comes out. Oh, oh. Sound Barrier goes off. Sage picks oh. up Sinful. That's one pick. They're ahead. Shock and off picks up Nylog. They're getting very close here. Mr. Pick picks, picks up Shock and off. They have hope. They have hope. Oh, watch it, Trinart. You're getting dope. Oh, immediately pops the trans. A smart go. play. Randy. And in the background, because of this, Mengi has left her supports, and so she's getting absolutely destroyed by the team now. She's all alone. Look at this. Look at this. You see red anywhere? I don't see red anywhere. Mengi is all alone. She's got to run. She's trying to run. She gets destroyed. And ladies and gentlemen, that will be a wrap for map one in favor of the Black Watch. Well played. Here's some positivity coming off that team. Fantastic win for sure. Let's see this play. I wonder who it is. It's... Shocking off. Shocking off. Wow. Oh, Let's wow. see this. All right, all right. Looks like he's shooting down some rockets. Goes for the barrage. Gets one, gets two, gets three. A triple kill from Shocking off. Amazing play. Shocking off. Kills everyone. Very nice work. Very well played. I'm gonna, oh, step out for, I'm gonna step out for a second. I'm just gonna call some. Cheer up. up. All right, Jordan Up's taking a quick, quick step out here for a call break, and we are gonna switch maps here. So bear with us. Oh no! Sorry, my bad. Second there. Exit. What? Oh, we do have to reform. He can't. Can he just right click? What? Uh -oh. Just have rent. Just have. Uh, Wait, hey, what? Now, there are a lot of methods that you can run with this. 
That's okay. Yeah, just have it. Just switch the map, and you can. Yeah, it's fine. As long as we're a spectator, it's fine. Yeah. So Oasis is a very much dive heavy map. A lot of it's in my in my opinion, it's it's a very it's it's Fair's map essentially. Fair's oh yeah, map. totally. And that comes in the form of university, which most people will usually run a um, usually something uh, divey like Winston Diva, and then you have uh, city center, which is the jump pad that we see on the screen right there. And then we have all about uh, the high ground. Oh, yep, which is what it looks like uh, if you pan out a little here. We'll see. They are actually on. I believe this is switch over to not city center. But yes, this is a very fair, very heavy, uh, uh, fair heavy map. So we're gonna have Randy. Randy, actually, an original Fera main, believe it or not. Back in the day, he played. Yeah. He played a fair amount of Fera. Uh oh, we gotta pause. Do you have a pause. What? Oh. All right, I'm missing a player. All right, uh, so anyhow, what? Yeah, I don't know who jumped out. Who, like, left? Bathroom break. Oh, no, no. She's back. She's back. Oh. We're good. We're good. All right. Oh. Looks like it is not a bathroom break this time, in my case. Yeah, that was a quick one Sometimes, for you. Yeah. Indeed. Uh, when Overwatch calls, comes out. Nature, nature calls, you gotta go. Now or you in the Overwatch the... League, can't you can't just can't just press pause. No. <laughs> no. You you're you know, you're not gonna have you're say, say BLB, you're yeah. not gonna have Pine coming in after getting yeah. a six K. Hey. Yeah. After playing Shanghai Dragons, getting four oh, hey, you can use a bathroom break, yeah, right? Yeah, need a bathroom break. Just put put Wakeem in for me, will ya? <laughs> be a be a deer. Sage going right back to the Doomfist. Ooh, uh, again against so we, the Pharaoh. So we wanna, do we want to watch him uh, run let's, in here? Let's watch it. Let's, right, let's, let's, put it let's put it on let's Sage. Put Give him a chance. Spot. Put it in right. first person. We're going to be putting him Just on the spot Just because we watched here. him last round. Let's see if he changed it all. Let's see if he changes tactics. Against the Pharaoh. Not sure the tactics are going to change. But, you know, you got to trust Never Sage. Know. He's yeah. a mystery man, as, as, as many know. He is the man of mystery. And by that, I mean mystery heroes. You never know what he's going to pick. See what he does. All right, pushing uh, right. straight mid. Sage go straight mid. Straight looks mid. like. Fair mercy on both sides, so we're gonna see most of the same old, same old. Sage knows he's under pressure, and he knows if he goes in, that Farah is going to be on he him. Knows. Oh, sees the Zenyatta at position, not gonna go for it. Winston pushes in, Diva as well. Oh, oh, Mercy misses him by just a hair. Decides to push on to Diva. Diva's getting a little bit dangerously low. Sage getting dangerously low. Sage gets, gets knocked picked out. off first by Mr. Pickpix with a high shot, nice headshot. Big picking up Sipiter. Oh, and that going. is going to be a clear up for Talon. Or rather, Blackwatch, I believe. They are swapped. It's all right. Let me swap that real quick. Gonna be pick up for Blackwatch. Talon gonna have to recoup here. I didn't switch Oops. Now we see them regrouping. That Blackwatch has tremendously increased their play. Now it could be on the part of Mr. Big Fix being added to their roster, but I think they've tremendously increased their play from last week. Oh, watch out. Sage is on that McCree. Can't push him like that, Bondi. Can't push him like that. He's getting very low. Farah gonna save his life right there. Oh, Yertable gonna go down. Sage follows immediately. And Blackwatch gonna <clears throat> take that point back immediately. Give us it back. Actually, they're gonna protect the point. Shock and all gets the pick. Sipiter dies. Shock dies. Sunny Buddy gets her mech taken away. Oh, there goes Sunny Buddy oh. into the sea. Bon voyage. <laughs> That's one of my favorite boot points when I play Farah. Indeed, I love it is. I, I do love that oh. as well. I hardly play Farah. I mostly play Zarya, but you know, <laughs> it's it's. You can it's imagine still what right. it feels like. It, yeah, I can. Yeah, yeah. Biggs looking around on that top little area. It's oh, gonna dive down for a moment. Oh, Mengi coming up. Oh! Oh, trying getting a little bit low. Goes down. Zen for a Zen. Oh, or rather, a McCree for a Zen. I'm sorry. Sepeter Reza Sage with that great mercy play once more. Oh, Mengi overshot it by just a little. Oh, but oh, but mercy still. doesn't see him. Nyrog's hopping back and forth. She doesn't need. She, a little bit out. of a poor targeting by Mengi here. She's she's kind of she can't decide where to go here. Uh, she ults, but there's no one around. You know, she's she's going after Randy. Maybe but that was a mistake. Completely, maybe it was a mistake. Complete, yeah. Maybe it was a mistake. You're right. But Rand, there's no one on Randy. Randy's just laying yeah, into Randy's Mengi. Yeah, Randy's just <laughs> flying all around there. 
There you go. Oh, there we go. All right, Mickey, picking it up. Gets the pick on Mr. Pickpicks. And Randy gonna get sick of that saying, Mickey, goodbye. Eat my chest full of rockets. Shocking off picks up Randy. Nairog reses trying hard bigs, picks up Yearnable. Look at that, five people on fire. That's a lot of fire. Gonna need a fire hydrant, but Trinehart, the only one not on fire, sadly, is gonna fall with his trans. Spot opens up for the Talon side here. Could they take this back? That's a 99, so it is a game decider. Randy picks up Sage. Oh, this is painful to watch. Mr. Pick picks picked up Mengi. Ooh, and they still, Nurag still got an alt here, ready to rock and roll if they need it. Zipiter reses Sage. Pick picks picks up Zipiter. It's just a cleanup on the side of. Oh, shocking off, picking up two, but it's not enough. Blackwatch going to take map one. Nice. Map two, round one. That is teamwork, Diva. Yeah, that was very good. And Nurag, I think, did a good end there as well. Keep the team up. You know, Hold on to he's, that alt. He's, he's, he's certainly picked it up. Yeah. He's, he's learned from Sipiter, all right? Mm -hmm. Similar to how Kirby absorbs his enemies and gains their abilities, <laughs> Nairog has absorbed the abilities of Sipiter and now is, is copying her. And Kirby, one of Not my... Not copying her. I, I, I don't want to say copy. I no, want to no. say... Uh, learning. 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 Precisely. Yeah. Uh, I wouldn't have, yeah. couldn't have said it better myself, <laughs> Brendan. <laughs> And Kirby's a great analogy. That's one of my favorite Nintendo characters. I love Kirby. Yeah, I yeah, everybody loves Kirby. You know, I like to think of myself as the Kirby of OCL. <laughs> Every time I beat somebody, I actually absorb, absorb their, their power. Right now, I'm a Grandmaster Support, I EPS, like and Tank Player. Because Maybe top you've absorbed the power of the other players. Exactly. So let's keep an eye on Nurag here running the pharmacy alongside uh, Randy right now. They're taking, they actually taking opposite side. Ooh, oh. Sunny, Sunny pushes in there. Sunny beat him to yeah, the punch. Yeah, Sunny. Sunny pushed him off. No, sir, you're not going up there. Yeah. Uh-oh, not Randy today, goes folks. up, playing a little bounce back and forth, but Shakana, because he's obviously playing Brigitte against Safari, going to get picked up. But Sage going to pick up Biggs on the soldier. Oh, but Biggs comes Looks back Looks like Randy here. gets a little too low, gets a little too greedy, gets picked off by Sunny Buddy. Nairog reses Biggs, and Sipiter reses Shakana. Shakana picks up, boom, with the flail. On to Trinehart. Biggs kills Mengi. And I can't say for sure, but... Obviously, Talon takes the point, so it's looking like I'm Sinful poking at them a little. I was going to see if Sinful's going to hit. Biggs is a little too far up there. He might get a little staggered. He's all alone. Yep, his health's yeah, draining he's slowly, and Biggs is going to get knocked out. Goodbye, Biggs. Back to school. He's gone. Now, because they're down, they're still going to push this, which is an interesting move. Randy getting a little too low. Nyrog's not exactly sticking on him right now, so he's getting very low. Sinful gets picked up. Yeah, that's not now, happen. here's the thing. What's interesting is Sage has swapped a soldier from the McCree, and now normally people would think, well, obviously, you know, you have the McCree to deal with uh, Tracer. And yeah. as, cool, as I say, that's simple swaps. <laughs> but Sage has landed these helixes, and like I said, he's a mystery hero, but he's good at every hero. He's a very good flex, which makes him a great DPS, a great tank, and a great support. But so far, he's been a great DPS. So Yeah, that's been his best role so far in this game series. Nairog getting close to that Valkyrie. He's ready to challenge Sipiter in the ring. Mercy pushing up with Mercy. Mr. Pickpicks. They're pushing them off the high ground. Good position. Mr. Pickpicks. Oh, a nice pick on his Sage. Sage uh -oh. goes down. Oh, the bomb coming in from Sunny. Bomb coming in. Oh, nothing. Nobody. Sinful gets Sunny. Uh, Sinful gets Sipiter. That's a double kill. Whoa. And he picks up Yertable. There we go. Blackwatch taking up that point right again at the 67% marker. Blackwatch all day, and they've got three alts to spare. Very it nice. Is wonderful. Work. Yeah, this is really, they're doing wonderful. Nice work. That's some team coordinated effort right there. Nurag hopping around, keeping the high, the high ground here is such an advantage. Oh yeah. I mean, it's, a, it's an advantage teams, on any All the teams are holding high ground. It's, it's, the, yeah. it's the latest trend. What oh, can yeah. I say? I'm going to start the low ground trend. The That'll low ground my, trend? Yeah. Oh. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> Maverick <laughs> might disagree out with you on that one, Randy. Oh, he would. He uh, would. <laughs> Randy getting a little low, but oh, he picks up Sage right before he dies. He's getting healed by Nairog. Nairog, like I said, making those improvements, keeping Randy alive. But Trinart is all alone. Nice. Randy picks up Shaka Oh, my God. He's killing everyone. Keep him up. Randy's staying up. Nairog with the Oh, support. the C9 almost. Biggs wow. picks up Sunny and his mech. And the barrier just for reassurance from Yurtable, but it's not going to be enough. They're already down. Ah, desperate, a desperate tactical from Sage. A little misplaced. He's going to pick up one. It's not going to matter too much. Not enough people Sipiter on point. Sipiter falls. Oh, 
monkey on monkey and monkey on monkey and uh, Biggs prevails. They're contesting this interestingly on two CP. You can't exactly contest anything really because of the percentages ticking away. Yeah. They're wasting life, and they've basically and fed Biggs, Mr. Pickfix, and Trinehart their ults so far. They're all set up right now. And so they're just getting perma-staggered here. I mean, it's, it's, Blackwatch is ready to it's just... It's getting very close. Yeah. It's an now or never for... Uh, Sage gonna hop right back on the Doomfist. Looks like he's changed his mind about playing against Farah. Ugh. Maybe not the best choice. Biggs with the Primal Rage. Getting a little bit low, so he Sage. pops the Primal Rage. Sage playing aggro, trying to get kept up by Sipiter, but he's playing two aggro. Nobody pays attention to him. Sipiter's keeping him up. He's pushing around those healers. Nobody's stopping him. Oh, that's a double kill. Sinful and Trinehart go down. Oh, Talon could take this black. It's now or never. Mr. Picnic with oh. the solo on the irritable, and Biggs picks up Sipiter. Oh, my God. Uh, I'm watching with bated breath. Oh, he pops the meteor strike. He's going to land right on Mr. Picnic's. Oh, no. 43, oh. he's very low, Mr. Pickpicks get off the mech. Maggie picks up one, under big, Sage picks up one, under Nyrog, and Sage picking get up the mech there, Pick Picks. of Mr. Pickpicks. Wow, amazing play by Sage, really. Wow, Talon with Just one Just as I spoke too a, soon. One heck of a uh, bounce back there. Now, can they hold this is the question. Yurtable has that sound barrier, so he's going to need to be very well timed. Look at this, Pickpicks getting in sinful, yeah. getting a little low. Pickpicks does not have his mech, gets it right back. Hear that Doomfist charge up. Yurtable has that sound barrier. He almost has it. He doesn't have it in time. Oh Does my god. Oh. oh, sinful. Off got by two. mere seconds. Mere oh. seconds. That is such a bummer on the side of Yurtable. He was so close to getting so that. So close. Can Sunny pull it off? Oh, the bomb's a little bit misplaced, so it doesn't go anywhere. Oh, uh, Valiant attempt. Oh. LA Valiant attempt, I should say. Oh, they're coming back in. They're coming back in. Trinehart going to pop that barrier Sage. for projection. Sunny's getting dangerously low. Sipiter gets the Valk, Sunny but it's down. not enough. Biggs gets two. Yurtable coming back in. Yurtable is trying it. desperately. They want this point so bad. Run Sage around. picks up some This is possible. No. Two go down. Mengi running around back. And as Mengi slowly falls to Trinehart, you're going to hear the final death toll of Team Talon, sadly. Oh, Mr. Pickpicks! Oh, yeah. oh. And game set and point. Blackwatch Black with watch. the 2 0 over Team Talon. However, right before we go here, oh, Sinful, let's watch Sinful's yeah, let's watch nice Sinful's. POTG here. He dashes in with the blade, picks up one, picks up one onto Sage. And Sipiter, whoa, a double dash right there. Classic move by most Genji mains. And gonna get the credit for the kill onto Lucia. Wow. Wonderful. You know, as far as teamwork goes, I, I really gotta hand it to uh, Sunny Buddy. And, mm -hmm. and you know, by teamwork, I, I'm more specific. By, or, I'm sorry. I mean, I mean solo solo players. Mm -hmm. Sunny with Sunny Buddy with the amazing bombs, right? And Sinful with fairly nice dragon blades. Now Sinful, he was actually out of position for most of the games, and that's important to most. But Sage, you okay. see Sage. Sage is a very, very, very 50-50 player, right? Yeah. He plays those off meta heroes, right? But he well, does well on them. So, you know, it's important to remember that. Could he could he have played another hero? Could he have played McCree or Soldier against that Pharah instead yeah. of Doomfist? Yeah. But you know, he still pulled through even with playing Doomfist. And that is what matters. And that was pretty awesome. So Thanks for helping cast, Jordan. I appreciate it. Of course. As always. As always. You know, it is yeah. a pleasure. Yeah. And you were, uh, I thought you were pretty on point. Uh, definitely uh, better than me and probably Maverick because he's not here to speak for himself. So. Thank you. Thank there you, you go. Um, you know, so yeah. you know I, I, I hope I hope you get into Diamond. You know, I know Maverick <laughs> doesn't believe in you, but you're going to get there. Well, right thank up. you. Thank you. Well, Just yeah, give me I'll a call. I'll give you some coaching. All right. All right. I'll talk to you on Discord. You, yeah, so. of course. Well, cool. Well, Thanks, everybody, for tuning in. Yeah. Um, and then we got same time next week. we got week three coming up. we got a couple of good matches again, as usual. So um, thanks, everyone. Check out the site. We'll have the updates on there. And hopefully upgrade our webcam equipment here because this looks like we're filming on a potato. So, <laughs> uh, But thanks, everybody, for tuning in. Thank you. Bye-bye.